Hi there, welcome to Pop Nonsense, and today we are going to be talking about... Stranger Things. Stranger Things 2. Walking Dead. The Detectorists. 1922. It. A competition where you can win... Comic in a print. <coughs> Hi there, and welcome to Pop Nonsense. My name's Tosh. I'm Gregor. And we're going to have a slightly condensed... Because we have... A competition. Where you can win... An It comic and a Pennywise print. Stay tuned, and you can find out how to enter in the video. Don't skip. Don't skip through it. Don't be that guy. No one likes that guy. Not even his mum likes that guy. What have you done? What have you been doing this week? Watched 1922? You heard of that? No. It's on Netflix. Ha new thing on Netflix. It's a Stephen King thing, obviously, because anything you knew is Stunned Stephen by King. Stephen King. I had seen an advert for it a wee while ago and thought, give that a bash. And it's from a novella. Which is fancy for... Kind of short story. Right. Like... Stand By Me, The Green Mile. Were, Shawshank they short, Redemption. were they short stories? I think so, eh? Shawshank Redemption and the, um, Stand By Me were in the same thing. Stand By Me was the body. Because I remember buying, I thought I was buying the Shawshank Redemption and it finished. And I was like, oh, there's quite a lot of book left <laughs> to be finished. <laughs> but uh, it was cool. Me. Anyway, it was a bit slow, a bit right. long for me, a bit. I, I didn't dislike it, but it's not something I'd watch again in a hurry. Right. See, when you said 1922, I thought you were talking about that. What's it called? What's his name's on it? That's not going to help. High Fidelity. Who's the guy in High Fidelity again? Jack Black. No, the other one. Cusack. John. John, John Cusack. Room 14. Yeah. Right, that, that's called 14. Yeah. I thought that's what you meant. Because that's a king. That's a Stephen King. This is not called John. <clears throat> John. That is John Cusack. John that's ridiculous. John. It is. That's just laziness. Watch anything else this week? No, yes. <clears throat> I watched, um, we started watching The Detectorists. Oh, yes. Because you'd said, you'd said that and it, it's marvellous. Yeah. It's probably one, thanks to me, put it on. I, I was saying to Kirsten, because I'm really into League of Gentlemen, Peep Show, all that sort of stuff, and just whoosh, no one at all. Mm -hmm. And I said, Gregor said, this is really good. And, and Kirsten went, put one on yeah. and we'll see. And we watched it and we got to the end and she went, I, I, I don't like the fact that I like something that you like. <laughs> so we're kind of, we're going, making our way through it now. So we're on, on the second season. I just heard today that they've, they've green, green lighted, green light the third season. That's exciting stuff. So that's pretty cool, man. Ah, cause it's, it might seem like a disservice to call it a gentle comedy. Well, it's a bit last of the summer wine, it's but about, it's, it's, it just kind of flows along and ambles along kind of thing, but it's, it's really good. It's definitely it's really enjoyable usually, and it's, it's not, funny no. as well. There's just, it's kind of everyday funny where it's not like, Laugh a minute with a soundtrack in the background of folk going at all the ha -ha's. Um But there's something I want to watch, but we've not watched yet. Yeah. Now, Amazon Prime are doing a thing called Loa. I think it's called Loa. But it's short, scary stories, basically. It's like really short, scary stories. So it's in the lead up to Halloween, so yeah. I'm going to give that a watch. Oh, that seems interesting. Um, so I, that's on Amazon Prime, who are lagging in the whole good stuff. Yeah. Department. Oh, Some of it's all right. Some of the stuff there's good, but um, what, I'm, what I'm struggling to find on Netflix as a decent documentary. Yeah. They used to, every time, there used to be some great documentaries in, in Netflix, but I just feel it's kind of like, you've got, they had Blackfish and they had The Cove and they had all that sort of stuff, but it just feels like there's not as much. It feels like with Netflix, Amazon Prime, to an extent, it's like you have a week where you're just like, oh, watching all this stuff, like, this is the best thing ever, then you're like, right, there's nothing else really to watch. Do you know what you watched? Right, now, I'm not proud of this. I'm proud of half of it. So we watched The Mask again, because the boy, both the boys haven't seen the mask, so we put the mask on, and they thought it was great. And then Son of Mask was there, which had a 2.2 on IMDb, oh. Oh. so you know it's fresh, yeah. right? We put that on. They they loved it. Like they really did. Full of fart jokes and and stuff, but like they really really liked it. But it's the creepiest thing ever. Do you know? Do you know what this? How it goes? The story goes. It's like feel free to spoil it because I'm not going to watch I, it. I know. I don't think anybody's going to watch it. It kind of, but. I genuinely thought that the baby would find, like, just put the mask on and then, like, it would be trying to get mm. the mask off the baby. But no. <laughs> but no. The, the dad, played by Jamie Kennedy, I think. Remember him? He was in Scream, was he not? Jamie Kennedy. He used to run the Jamie Kennedy, Kennedy experiment on MTV. Oh. That guy. Right, Do you yeah. remember that guy? He's yeah, in Scream, I remember that. I couldn't even tell you. No, right, yeah. I watched Scream. If he's not in Scream, we'll just skip that whole bit out. If he is in Scream, how clever am I? So he puts on the mask for some reason and turns into the mask. Wait, remember Aqua? Yes. And then the big plastic hair and all that. So he looks like that and then he goes home and has sexual intercourse with his wife. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, that, 
thought you were going to go different there. Yeah, what did you think I was going to say? Well, you said it was pretty dark with the baby. Oh, no, it? no, 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 that. No, it's, right. no, it's a 2.2, <laughs> 2, mate. Like, right. um, so, no, he has, he has full sexual intercourse with a lady, with, with his wife, who gets pregnant. And she, uh, he is the half-son of, oh. of Loki. Oh, right, so it's not a kid that's got the mask on. It's... Oh. So, but Odin and Loki are in this. So, like, because the mask is Loki's mask. And that's what it comes through. It's like the mischief maker sort of thing. So it's about Odin telling Loki, you've got a wane, <laughs> go and get it back. Go and sort it out. And like, it's, I'm like that watching it going, is this for realsies? Well, that seems unnecessarily. It's totally unnecessary. Aye. Um, but aye, that's what that's about. But the boys loved it because it's one of those fart jokes and there's a baby running about and really poor CGI baby and oh, stuff. God. and. But like, it's dire pompous, it's not good. I made the mistake of <laughs> not giving up on The Walking Dead yet, and that's back. I was, it was on, and I was typing away. I was, was not paying any interest. I just, in any... I, like, again, I was watching, I was just, all right, I was going to kick up that. No, oh, you're being a dickhead, right, cool. <laughs> it's the same. It's just the same. I gave up on Lost after watching it for years. I've seen Lost through to the very end. I couldn't. I was just like, end. at the end of every episode, it's like, oh, here's, here's a half idea about this. Here's a new mystery. Yeah, I don't I think they really had an idea what was... Nah, they were just bumbling along. And that's it feels like The Walking Dead's kind of going down that route. And, and my last thing of this week, right. I've been listening to the Stranger Things 2 soundtrack. Good man. So they released the soundtrack, the sound, Stranger Things think, soundtrack before. I think that was last week to get us all in the mood. Right. And that's, what, this Friday it comes out? A couple of days, because the big counter's on Netflix. They've already announced that there's going to be a third se- season. Because I was looking at all the titles of the Spoilers. songs. But you know, that, see when they go uh, like that, there's going to be a third season, but you know nothing. Because uh, uh, I was looking at the uh, song titles, and the last one's called, oh, what is it, To Be Continued? And I was like, oh! And then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> it can't be the end if you're going to do it. I just kind of hope they don't, just don't keep it going and keep it going and keep it going and we end up in another walking they dead. They talked house. about it and said they think it's going to be a four season thing. Cool. I'm game for that. Like that's cool. That. That's why The Wire's so good, because it's uh, five. Well, that's what I like done. about Ricky Gervais comedies. What is it, two series two, he does? Two and a special, uh, usually, because the, you've got The Office like, Christmas special, which, in my opinion, is one of the best bits of British TV ever. Mm-hmm. Like, just that bit when, spoilers, when Tim and Don, that whole moment and stuff yeah. like that. Every time, I'm like that. And when, and when David Brett tells uh, Finchie, <laughs> uh, I watched that for the first time. Not that long ago. It's brilliant. I've watched all the others. I thought I'd watched them all. And then, it's like, there's, there's what? There's one more. The, what happens? And you've done the same with extras. You've done the big Christmas special and extras well. Extras is fantastic. That's it. It goes on Celebrity Big Brother. Yep, Andy Millman so realises he's man. a prick. But like, everything that Ricky Gervais does, I'll sit there and pull off weight and then suddenly it'll just, there'll just be a poignant moment. Like, Derek was like 100% poignant moments where I was just a wreck, but... I wasn't really that big a fan of Derek, if I'm honest with you. I think it was a bit... Contrived? Yes. There's a bit of me where, like, so you, like the Invention of Lion, and I think there's one in Ghost Town as well, yeah. and all that sort of stuff. There's one moment where Ricky Gervais is going to prove he can act. Yeah. I, he's and he'll get teary-eyed. Quite a serious guy, and he'll, sometimes. So. He'll get all of this. And it's just, that's, that, there's just, you can just see it coming. It's the same every single time. Like the bit at the end of The Office, which was amazing because you'd never seen him do it before mm-hmm. when he actually begs for his job. Yeah. And then you see the same thing in extras and you see the same thing in Derek. Shall we do this thing yes, then? Shall right, we? Let's, let's do this thing. Right. Greg, Gregor's going to take the lead on this because he's, it's far too complicated for the likes of me. Yeah, it's a bit complicated for me. <laughs> so bear with us. Um, we'll put posts out on the social and try and, write, try and explain it underneath. That's sign language for underneath, in case you're wondering. <laughs> uh, so, we're having a wee competition, and there's many ways you can enter. Should we show them first what they can win? Let's see what it, see what it is. Let's talk talk, about, talk us through what's here, Gregor. What can they win? Show them the fabulous prizes. It's an It comic. So it's kind of fan-made, is that what you'd call him? He's a, it's a fan he's an illustrator. Comic. Yep. Vincent Rush. Vince Rush. And I first saw this on... What's that show called? The Horror Show. The Horror Show. Really good. Recommend that on YouTube. Again, we'll put a link somewhere for it. Um, they've got a good episode where they... Go in depth. Like, they go in depth about the comic. Uh-huh, it's really good. And they speak to him as well. You can win an It comic. And it is... It's the first... It's the opening scene. It's the, the, the Georgie scene. That's the, the standard from the book, the miniseries and the new film so that's good but what's better than just being able to win this is that two of you can win it and on top of that there's more 
a friend from Glasgow and artist. Do you know Devil? Yes, we've met. We met at where did we meet? We met in your shop. Ah, right. Why was she there? Record store day, something like that. She came down yeah. and we, we we spent a bit of time chatting. Thoroughly good egg. Very talented as well. She for the release of it did this. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can see, it's Tim Curry and Bill Skarsgård's kind of half and half, which, let me, let me model it for you. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Have you done this before? So there's a couple of them too. Two folk can win one of each. Does that make sense? There's two individual winners. Each winner will win a comic and a print. That makes sense. A5, the print is. A5, the print is. So, to win it, we will pay for... Pay for postage. We won't even charge you for uh -huh. that. Uh, we're going to so send it out. You're from anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. You can be anywhere. Anywhere. I can understand Scottish people. Would mm. you? Would help. And you can understand who to win. <laughs> Here's the tricky part. All right, to win it, we are on YouTube, obviously. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Tumblr, and we're on Pinterest. It's like a pure. It's like a reading. That's what we're all on. Yes, and we're on Google Plus, but I don't know Google, Google Plus is wrong. Nobody talks about that. Ah, not bother that. Anyway. So we're going to put a post out about this on all these different things. So on Facebook, to win, all you have to do is share the post. That would count as one entry. Follow us on Facebook would count as a second entry. Or like. What have I said so far? And co you comment. Comment. Comment your favourite line from the book, the miniseries, or the new film. Now that, that, would get, that would get you three. Three entries. Three entries. And if you do that across all of our social things, so on YouTube, on Pinterest, on Twitter, on whatever other one I've not said, Tumblr. <laughs> Instagram. Oh. But you can't share on Instagram. You can, you can like and comment. You can take a screenshot you and repost and tag us in yeah, it. Yeah, that'll do. Tell you what, every time you do something... We'll take, we'll put one up, what your name once yep. in the hat. So you can end up, see with Instagram as well, it's probably about 20 entries. It's like, think of it as a raffle ticket. I should have been a mime. <laughs> <laughs> we basically we're slaves to an algorithm. Basically, so every time you like, you comment, or you share, you feed the algorithm monster. Feed the beast. Feed the beast. So every time you interact, that's one entry. Mm -hmm. So you can enter as many times as you interact, and we'll put you and in, your name into the name randomizer machine. Virtual hat. The virtual hat, and we'll pull out two names, and um, then we'll, we'll well, alert you. <laughs> and you can send us your details, mm -hmm. and we shall. Send you the, the goods. How long is this going to run for, Gregor? Shall we say two weeks from the day this video goes out? Yeah, two weeks from then. So um, all the social media links will be in the description below. So as always, we'll hit you with a bit of trivia at the end. And because I've been listening to Stranger Things, I thought I'd hunt about for some interesting Stranger Things trivia. Sweet. Had to write it down because my memory's abysmal. A couple of things. You're a Stranger Things fan? Yes. Right, a couple I of would things. say I am a Stranger Things Have fan. you hunted about for any trivia on it or have you just seen what you've seen? I think I've just seen what I've seen. I usually do the thing where I'll sit on my phone for a bit, but uh, I kind of enjoyed it too much uh -huh. to keep checking the phone. I'm like that myself. And the good thing is with things like this, folk keep going back to it and finding different things so it gets added to it. It's like you can't just go to it as soon as it's out, have a look. That's you got everything. Yeah. Um, Ah, so I've got a few things here that I'll hit you with to see if you knew about them. Go. Cool. The Hawkins Police Department Vehicle and Uniforms. Did you know that they are the same as in Amity Island and Joe's? Really? Uh -huh. Obviously different, like that was the Amity Island, that was the Hawkins and that, but it's the same, the blue, the brown and the vehicles. That's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, that's yeah, really cool. Because like obviously Stranger Things is basically just a room full of Easter eggs. It's Pretty just much. a vessel for everything. <laughs> it's fantastic, I love it. Like you can't watch a scene without being like, oh, do you think that's from that? I never knew that. That's, that is actually quite, that's really interesting, Gregor. The twins that play Holly Wheeler, that's Mike and Nancy's wee sister, that's, she's not really in it, doesn't really say much, if anything. Um, just like four year old or something. Played by Tinsley and Aniston Price. I presume that is twins because child working laws, so rather than... Oh, having, you can't get them doing full shifts. Ah, so if you get two that look the same, you can... Political correctness gone yeah. mad. They were also Judith from The Walking Dead. Do you know, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. And just had a feeling you were going to say that's what it was. I don't know why. I just had a... Also, the quarry. Yes. That they find the fake body. Yes. That was in The Walking Dead as well. Was it? Mm. Right, a couple other references to things. In Predator, um, the first person that Arnie looks for was called Hopper. The first person killed was Hawkins. Oh. Although... With the Hawkins thing, a lot of folks think that it might be Stephen Hawking that is named after him yep. being over like space and time and all that sh You're an X-Men fan? Yes. Ah, yeah. Jean Grey? Yes. Right, well, Will wins one of Dustin's comics and he's like that, I want X-Men 134. Uh-huh. 
is the one where Jean Grey unleashes the Dark Phoenix. Yep. And now apparently that's got some relevance. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, man. That was good trivia. I enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, and you'll get us in all those social medias in the description. Make sure you enter the competition. Oh, the comics are signed as well, by the way. I think they're all uh, when you buy them often, but it makes it sound nicer. The comics are signed too, <laughs> so when he makes it big, which hopefully he will, because he's pretty good. His stuff it is pretty, it's, it's, pretty. Do you watch Cover Your Enthusiasm? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yep, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time. Thank you.